Welcome to the Home Depot. We have a mission to complete. You don't have time to clean things, no. <laughs> I'm laying on the bed. <laughs> My room doesn't work. So if you've been watching me for a while now, you would know that I've redone my room many a time. Like almost every video, my room is in a completely different configuration. I just can't seem to make up my big head about how to conduct my room in an orderly manner. My desk was too small, so I got a bigger desk. But then I outgrew my vinyl shelf, so I got a bigger vinyl shelf. The stuff on my wall started bothering me, so I got a book cabinet. My wall is boring, I'll paint it. So this all came to a head when I got injured two weeks ago. If you haven't watched that video, I'll spare you the details and just say that my upper back and neck are at war with me. Now, when I was well enough to get out of my bed, I migrated to my desk. Everybody, meet my desk chair. I got it from Ikea and it's absolute ass. This thing? Oh my god, I don't even know how to describe its worthlessness. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between this thing and a block of concrete. There's zero lumber support, and for someone like me whose neck is being a little bit, I can't have that going on in my swamp. So I went on the search for a better chair. My mom had recommendations, of course. This is the chair she told me to get. This is its name. This is its color. And this is the price. Disgusting! You know, even though I'm a trillionaire, gajillionaire YouTuber with thousands of hundreds of dollars, I have other things to spend my money on than a stupid, lousy chair. So I went to Staples and... Oh. <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> now at the end of the day, the balance of the universe was restored. Things were back to normal. My back hurt less and I had a chair. whoop de freaking do in my bedroom. Now let's get one thing straight. I love my bed. Why? Because of this. But that's besides the point. I still love my bed. I've always loved my bed and I will forever love my bed. But it's gotta go. She's taking up too much space. You know, she's gotta go for a hike, lose some weight so that she takes up less space. Here's another issue I forgot to mention. My neck my back. Anyway, so the fact that my neck is in crisis mode right now makes it just that much clearer to me how bad my mattress is. Every time I sleep on it, I wake up with my neck hurting. And I've never put two and two together, but now I am, and now I've realized that this mattress also has to go. So if I do get rid of this bed, what will I ever put in its place? Well, I did, you know, some research. The first option is to sleep on the floor. Okay. Oh wait, what's that? Do you see that? What is that thing? The answer was clear and it came in the form of suspended fabric. Now, although this solved one issue, 10 others made themselves visible right at that very moment. How the hell do you hang a hammock? How much weight can it hold? Will my thickness be too much for it? Is a hammock made out of ham? I mean, it's in the name, so why wouldn't it be? Naturally, when you have questions of that nature, there's only one place to go. Purgatory, I, I mean, ho uh, the Home Depot. <laughs> Social distancing, <laughs> six feet at all times. Did you guys know that there's actual aliens behind the walls? Yeah, I didn't know that either, but they're there. They hold up the walls themselves. They see you when you're sleeping and they know when you're awake. And I'm about to file a restraining order if you don't get your nasty ass googly alien eyes off of my back, you creep. This is the second time I've caught you staring. What, do you get off on something? You're almost as creepy as Joe Biden. I'm going to go to jail. Oh my god. They also make a lot of noise. Like, a lot. Like, like a lot. Like, god damn it, just chill out. Wait, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, I sleep in a cocoon. <laughs> the 
ready? This is the moment of truth. That's what we've all been waiting for. I'll see you later. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> hey. You know, somewhere out there in the vastness of the universe, this never happened. I never injured my neck taking stupid photos on photo booth. I never spent one week bedridden because of it, and I neither had to get a new chair nor change the very mode that I sleep. And you know what? I'm glad. My room's an absolute bottoms-up disaster, and I'm proud of it. So what do we do with my bed, now that I have no use for it? You best believe that we're taking it apart! Okay boys, so here's how it's gonna go. You dudes hit the target, and I couldn't be happier. Now it's time to get dirty. Tommy, you're gonna start by gutting him. Rip everything out. The guts, the spleen, I wanna see his last meal. Some carbonara, some pasta, maybe even some scallops, pull it all out. Okay, Joe, the rib cage. This man got some steel ribs, literally. He had to get his real ones replaced with freaking steel beams because he smoked so much. Don't ask questions, I don't pay you for that. Once he's dismembered, we take him under gram. Remember, we don't exist, the target doesn't exist, we get in and get out faster than you can say it's DiGiorno! Don't drop a bone. A drop of blood is enough to put our asses in jail for the rest of our lives. Hide all the evidence. You gotta bury him 30 feet under, and don't you dare make a sound. Hey, Johnny boy, what's that you're laughing at? You want me to leave you dry? Cause I can do a hell of a lot more than just spit in your pizza, you knucklehead. Don't forget the body bag. That's gotta go with him too. If I see that thing lying around after the job, I'll bury you in some concrete. Oh, you think I'm bluffing, Mike? Well, I'll show you bluffing. Yeah, that's right, boys. You don't mess with a dragon unless you want fire up your butthole. Anyways, just get it done, and I'll reward you. It'll be like nothing ever even happened. We'll go for a smoke. We'll have a boys' night out. What do you say? Drinks are on me. What? You gotta be really quiet because it's 8 a.m. and our neighbors are asleep and dad's asleep and we can't get a restraining order, okay? I'll be quiet. Okay, good. I, I told you, be quiet. What do you not understand about being quiet, Mom? Um, I'm, it's, it's 8 a.m. People are asleep. Jesus um, Christ. You have to be quiet, Mom! It's 8 a.m. and people are asleep! I filmed myself putting the rest of my room together, but uh, here's what happened. My SD card went, see ya! So, yeah, that's what we're dealing with. We'll just figure this out as we go. Sounds good? Great. Sounds great? I deleted half the footage. Okay, so the first thing that you see when you come in to my room is my hammock. It's hiding behind the door, so be careful because it might just eat you for breakfast. I've been sleeping in this hammock for the past week or so, and it's been working pretty well. I fell off once, and I hit my elbow, and then I woke up with this scar, and then I thought, <laughs> whoa. I mean, it's either this, or I sleep on the floor, so I'll take this, you know, I don't need a bed. I, I don't need a bed. Beds are for mortal fools. Okay, so this next part... How do I explain this in a way so that I don't get cancelled? This is my bootleg art studio. If you're wondering what all of this stuff is it's just stuff that I wasn't really able to throw away. You know, I'm just too emotionally attached to things. I get really emotionally attached to stupid crap like this, so I can't really throw it out. I also just kind of like the juxtaposition of... She might be able to kill you, but she also, you know, she's got another side to her. It's dimensional. This is my canvas storage. I've got lots of uh, interesting works here. I like to make my art meaningful. Okay. Also, these shelves from Ikea, they're meant to be attached to the wall so that they don't tip over. We didn't do that. So I think it's pretty safe for me to climb up on it. Mom, this is the rock climbing career I never had. On the top, my wonderful vinyl collection. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because we'd be here until next year. So in this box,
Okay. Finally, we're at my closet. Okay, so this is my closet. This is one thing that I also had to clean out at the beginning of quarantine. I had a lot of clothes, you know, and I just made sure that I kept the most important clothing, the articles of clothing that I knew were very useful and that I would be wearing for a very long time and that I could probably wear for the rest of my life. Things I could get stuff done in, you know? Here, we also have my nail polish collection. Yeah, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. I have a lot of nail polish paintings to get through before I can throw those out. Up here, we have exhibit A of me being vain. And then here, this is where the party begins. The JK Rowling's, the wizards. We've got the worst text to screen adaptation I've ever seen. Here we got Cassandra Clare's demon fan fiction. I swear to God, if she drops another one of these bricks, I'm not reading it. Right there, that's uh, me giving Robert Pattinson PTSD. So this is um, the series that should have ended here. Oh, remember uh, when I said that Percy Jackson was the worst text to screen adaptation I'd ever seen? Well, I'd like to retract that statement. Were you guys obsessed with Mr. Men books as a little kid? Cause I sure as hell was. Like, Jesus Christ, this is, this is literally my entire childhood. So right here is, you know, a classic book series. I like to call it Jim Carrey plays Count Olaf. Wait, no, now it's Neil Patrick Harris. Okay, and this here, um, if you like it, then you really shouldn't put a ring on it because that's like kind of dangerous. Anyway, so that's it, everybody. You've seen it all. There's no mystery left.